Hey, this is Steve Stralacci, and this is how to sound like Brad Paisley in the Line 6 Helix. Hey guys, welcome back for another Sounds Like video. Um, this video, I wanted to take out Brad Paisley's tone. So I was messing around with Vox amps the other day, and I was just playing, you know, with my iconic Tele, shameless plug. And um, I started just messing around with stuff, and I was like, wow, this sounds like Riverbank, Brad Paisley. So I went and learned the solo. That's what you guys heard in the intro. And um, it's just kind of how I wound up on it. And uh, this is what the main tone the main tone sounds like uh, this is like the main riff of the song and I was like damn that's pretty pretty spot on in my opinion um, so I wanted to make a preset uh, based around the song and especially the solo because there's a couple of cool little changes that you could do with snapshots and helix that I thought came out really cool um, let's just get right into it so let's go to HX edit show you what we got going on so I got a uh, regular Red Squeeze compressor. I'm going to show you stuff in order of importance instead of uh, chronologically. Then I got Kinky Boost. All the country guys, Nashville guys, session guys always have a clean boost in front of their amp. So threw the Kinky Boost up there with a the three gain bright switch on. Tima. I use the Tima because it's the most natural sounding overdrive. And that's the country thing is natural overdrive. There's no color to any of the, the overdrives on these guys' pedal boards usually. So those are the settings on the Tima. We're going to get to that later. Here's the amp, Essex A30. Here's the settings going up and down. Uh, you could take a look at these if you want to mess with some of the stuff here. But uh, a big part of the sound is having the sag all the way up to 10. I like to dime the sag because it makes it feel more like a real amp to me and it gives you that kind of instant feedback. <laughs> Like it kind of like, it's just right there, ready for you when you hit the notes. And I really like that about having the sag cranked up. So I do that. Going to the cabinet. I have two Vox style cabinets, Silver Bell and the Blue Bell. And these are no particular rhyme or reason, kind of just experiments and uh, found what I thought sounded good, which matters at the end of the day is what you think sounds good. And that's what I go with here. So I just kind of mess with settings until I get something I like. So 121 ribbon, five inches back. I bring the high cut down to 6.2 and then 6.1 on the other one, uh, 57, you know, right on the grill cloth of this one. So I want to talk about these high cuts. So if you haven't seen, I have a two minute tip um, for the Line 6 Helix uh, based around all high cuts, explain what I do and why I do it. Uh, you can check that out if you guys want to, if you haven't yet. But I have these high cuts set all the way down to 6.2 and people say, oh, that's too low that you can't have a high cut that low. Yeah, you can. It's possible, and it sounds totally fine. Um, people think that having it that low affects the entire signal as if you were doing this like in a studio or something. The Helix has great flexibility, but also it's easy to get misinterpreted. Uh, these high cuts don't mean for the entire chain, for the entire you know, sound. It's really just for the cabinet block. So it's really not a big deal. So don't be afraid to experiment with your high cuts, giving them drastic cuts even lower. If you look at my Brent Mason video, um, I have the high cut down to three kilohertz and it sounds pretty close, pretty close and it's really bright still. So don't let the numbers, uh, don't let the numbers fool you. Don't use your eyes, you know, use your ears to make a sound. And then uh, I got my early reflections cranked up. I love my early reflections, about 65% on both. These are just kind of toys, uh, tremolo, of course. Those will be on the pedal board when you download the preset. Nothing in these uh, snapshots though. Slapback, um, regular analog echo. I got the mix a little bit higher than I would normally have it, and I have this brighter than I would have it, because this song, it really pops out at you. So that's the slapback. Um, I always put a little bit of a pre-delay on the spring reverb. That's what I got in here. Let's actually, let's hear what this is. Spring reverb. Pretty nice, realistic uh, spring reverb sound. Um, how I usually set the spring reverb. I always put a 
80 millisecond pre-delay. I like to have a little bit of a pre-delay. It lets the transient of the note pop out first before the decay, uh, before the reverb starts to decay on it. Uh, mix about 20%. Jason said it's compressor, as everybody should have. Thank you, Jason, you beautiful human being for bringing this to the world. So now to the other stuff. So these are the snapshots. This middle part of the solo where the sound, he plays this riff that's kind of like... And it kind of sounds like he hits a cocked wah, so I kick this on. You'll see now here I have the boosted snapshot on. And I got a cocked wah, 35%. That's the position. So that's the tilt where the wah would be. I'm not using the expression pedal. That's just locked in the way it is. Um, I got the mix down to 24%. So it affects the signal, but it's not like a dominant part. Then I kick this tube screamer on. I got the gain set there. And I goose the gain a little bit on the amp comparatively. That's what the solo boost on. And everything else stays the same. So here's what this sounds like. So yeah, that, uh, that sound will take you until the rest of the solo until you hit that last note. So when Brad hits that last note, if you listen to the track, it kind of like gets a super echoey sound once he hits that note. He nails like this crazy good pinch harmonic that I just couldn't get in any of the takes. So I had to settle for, you know, the, the take that I got. But uh, it's going to kick this on. It's going to give you a little bit more gain on the tube screamer, a little bit more gain on the amp. But most of all, it's going to kick this on. And this is called Last Note. So you hear this snapshot, snapshot changes to last note, and that kicks on this Cosmos delay, which is this crazy out of control sound. And that'll kind of last forever. So when you get to the last note, so it's made to be where, you know, you're ripping through the solo, you get to the end of it, you're gonna just hit the snapshot. And you're gonna let that delay trail off into you know into the atmosphere. It's such a cool sound. It's so much fun to play with. But um, yeah, this is how I try to sound like Brad Paisley. And I use the song Riverbank. Hope you guys dig it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If you are interested in seeing more Helix-related content and just you know general guitar stuff that'll be coming in the future. So thanks for watching.